Pokey frogs are a huge concern in Hawaii. They're already well established on the Big Island and have recently been caught in Waimanalo as the state is coming, cutting back on the personnel that would fight the problem. The Koki can make sounds as loud as 90 decibels or as loud as a running lawnmower. Joining us now from the Department of Agriculture is uh, Neil Reimer. He's the Plant Pest Control Branch Manager. Good morning, Dr. Reimer, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Uh, pleasure to be here. So you recently had that eradication effort in Waimanalo. How many frogs did you catch, and were you able to get rid of all the frogs in that area? Um, we, we had reports of frogs out there. A uh, total of about seven were caught, not just by my staff. It's been a concerted effort. We've got Waimanalo nurserymen helping out, uh, OIS helping us too. So a total of about seven at that one site. Uh, we responded, we went out, and we've uh, kind of delimited where, where the frogs actually are, and we've been spraying that area. Uh, so far, we haven't heard any frogs since then, but we're continuing to monitor that. Now, you've had eradication efforts in Wahiawa. There was a, that one spotted in Manoa, and already it's infestation on the Big Island, a horrible problem there. Is it just a matter of time before Oahu and other neighbor islands become infested with koki frogs? I hope not. I mean, that's our effort to try to prevent that from happening. It's a very bad situation on the Big Island. Frogs are continually popping up on other islands, and when they do, you know, often it's citizens that call us up and we respond and uh, recover them. Mostly it's one or two frogs at a time. What about reports on the Big Island that uh, the frogs there, this was a rumor that the frogs there were as big as tennis balls. Is that true? Um, yes, it's true. It's a rumor, but um, we've never seen them that size. The biggest we've ever seen, the females can get up to about two inches. Males are usually about an inch and a quarter. That, that's the same as from their native uh, land, which is Puerto Rico. That's about the size they seem to be. Um, I've never seen a frog. I talked to my, my uh, uh, tennis ball size, talked to my crew. They've never seen frogs that large. And if anybody does see one, we'd love to. And last it. question really quickly. You know, the <laughs> Department of Agriculture in your branch saw a 40% cut of staff. How is that going to impact your efforts to fight the kogi frogs? Makes it much more difficult. Um, like I said, like you said, 40%, um, that's ha almost half our staff is gone. Uh, fr koki frogs aren't the only thing we work on. We, we deal with a lot of other um, pests out there as well as doing biological control programs. What we've done is we do a lot more collaborative efforts, try to get the public to help, try to get uh, citizens and, and landowners to help us as well. Well, Dr. Neil Reimer, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. And if you hear a koki frog, you can call the pest hotline at 643-HOT.